Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here, right by the Southern District of New York, but not in it. It's today, Monday, March 20th, 2023. And all of this, you can, behind me there's a lot of TV trucks, and on the other side of Lafayette, is for the impending or expected indictment of former President Trump. Um, they're all here. We've been staking out the various appearances of people in front of the grand jury, and now it appears it's a global media phenomenon. So we'll be covering this, but we're also covering inside the courts. Now, there's a, a kind of, I'd say, a somewhat related case. Uh, last week, uh, Wen Guo Wei, Guo Wengui, uh, also known as Mile Kwok, was arrested and remains detained uh, for fraud, but also, as it turns out, uh, there was a lot of lobbying by China to get Mr. Wo, Mr. Guo returned to China. This is also impacting a case that's in D.C. that we're following of Pras Michel, formerly of the Fugees. Uh, he faces a trial exactly a month from today. Today there's a hearing at 1 o'clock about whether it will be delayed because he's trying to subpoena a variety of people, including President Obama. On behalf of Joe Lowe, initially, the uh, reputed uh, robber of the 1MBD, whose co-conspirator, Roger Eng, uh, has been sentenced to 10 years and whose uh, Goldman Sachs cooperator with the sweet deal, Tim Leisner, has yet has, has allowed to skate. Um, he was lobbying for Joe Lowe and then... He met in the Four Seasons with Chinese security about the possible extradition of Guo to China. Now, many people have raised, why was he arrested now? Could he be traded for Jolo? That's an idea that inner city press is floating. But we're covering both trials. Of course, there's a Steve Bannon angle on Guo. Uh, Guo was a major funder of Bannon's activities. They were hanging on Guo's yacht in Connecticut. We're covering all of it. We're also covering corruption in the banking sphere. Now, over the weekend, not only did... UBS by Credit Suisse and the Federal Reserve and, and Treasury Secretary pre-approved it and praised it. New York Community Bank is buying Signature Bank. New York Community Bank recently bought Flagstars. It was long delayed because of fair lending issues. These are fair lending rogues being given a sweet pass for a bank on whose board Signature, Barney Frank and both Derek Cephas, a former regulator, are. The UN, even more corrupt, Guterres, is trying to de-swift, re-swift uh, the Russia Agricultural Bank. Find this all in Inner City Press.